motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motor Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. Bobby and I are heading to the Flinders Ranges in South Australia. How good is this place? We're in Adventureland, no doubt about it, Clubby. It's our first assignment together since Clubby became the editor of Australian Adventure Bike magazine, and he's hired me as his editor at large and general assistant. There's no coincidence Clubby has chosen the Flinders Ranges for our first assignment. The Flinders is a unique piece of Australia a compact mountain range with a geological history that goes back a whopping 800 million years. Layers of sediments deep under the earth have been folded and pushed up out of the plains to form an ancient mountain range. It's a cracking location for adventure and the scenery is stunningly unique and we're heading there to ride and film two brand new bikes. Alright Clubby, let's go and Try out these brand new bikes. <laughs> Time to get them dirty, mate. Yes. So where are we? Do you know where we're going? We're at Petersborough, which is in South Australia, at the oh, base of the... The Flinders can't be far away. The Flinders Ranges are not far away. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No. Fatty, skinny, let him go. Yeah, I'm going to have the 701. Now, there's another piece to this assignment. Husqvarna Motorcycles Australia have invited my old riding buddy Nugget and I to ride Husqvarna 701s from Cairns to Darwin in May of this year. They've given us the bikes to run in before the big ride, so while I'm in the Flinders, I'll be running my bike in. Nugget unfortunately had to work, so he's stuck in Sydney, and to make matters worse, it's pouring rain. But more on that later. Looking forward to this, I've only done 20 kilometres on it. Lovely smooth engine. Uh, but now we're heading out somewhere. Cobby's got something in awesome. mind. Ghost town. A ghost town, we're heading to a ghost town. Old ruin. All right. Brand spanking new Tenere, Super Tenere 1200 with matching bark busters. Black and gold special. And it's not just Tenere gold anymore, it's Tenere black and gold now, isn't it? Yeah. Brand spankers, mate. Good to see that uh, bash plate on it and the that crash gut. SW Motec crash bars, mate. <laughs> yes. I predict we'll use those this in these next three days. One, two, three, four, five. Traction control off, put it into two. Oh, while we're at it, one. ABS off as well. Bit of fiddling, but now I'm away and I'm in the dirt where this bike excels. And that quick shifter is just fantastic when you're standing up on the pegs. You don't have to kind of put that clutch in and out. Just bang it through, it's beautiful. After 50 k's on that open tar, you know, I start to feel, gee, maybe a tower is the best thing. And then you get in the dirt and you go, oh no, you don't need a tower. So for our audience that don't live in Australia, which is a significant proportion, we're in South Australia, right at the southern end of what's called the Flinders Ranges. So I've got all this outback, it's really flat. And then there's a bottom bit of Australia where geologically Australia got kind of kinked together. And it made these folds that made a series of uh, mountains. Oh, I don't know, Americans wouldn't call them mountains, I, nor would the Nepalese, but uh, let's call them hills. But they're really good to ride through and geologically spectacular. clubby has got this brand new Super Tenere and he's loving it. Uh, good bike in this sort of conditions. Uh, you know, it's a mile muncher. Does them beautifully. 
and I'm on the 701 and yeah it too is a mile muncher but uh, it likes the tighter stuff he's looking around looking around for some tracks <laughs> always looking club he's dressed by Krieger today too I noticed he's got a new Krieger backpack there we're heading to the ghost town of Dawson. The town was built on the dreams of wheat production in the 1880s, with a population topping 10,000. By 2016, the population of the town was three. The ruins of the pub and three churches are the only reminder of the hopes and dreams of early settlers. The town died from a thousand cuts. Endless droughts, a gold rush, a second world war and the bypass of the town by railway and main road development. Ruins are found all through the Flinders and it's a testament to the give it a go ethos of early settlers. How did they build that church out here? You know those rocks aren't from around here, must have brought them kilometres. Wow, isn't that amazing? Now what do you want me to do, Master? I've got to take this shot. Focus and shoot. Focus and shoot. <laughs> Focus and shoot. Let's see what you're getting there. Oh yeah, I can understand that. That Super 10 looks very dirt worthy there. They just truck along like a big comfortable lounge chair, don't they? Big they talky thing. My oh, goodness, they've got talk. Hey, but you, you feel the size and weight compared to the 700. You reckon? <laughs> oh, you reckon? Yeah. What, what is there? Like 60, 70 kilos? No, there's a kilos? 110 kilo difference. Yeah. Oh, it's not that much, is it? Yeah, 270. That's 270. That's 140. Oh. Well, we're heading back home now. Our first day. Just south of the Flinders Ranges tomorrow. We'll, we'll head to Bilpin and, and get right into the guts of the Flinders. But it's been a nice little run. I mean, we've knocked over 100 k's, and to get home, we've probably got to do another 80. So 180 k day, nice easy day. It's 10 to 6, so I'm starting to get on the tooth. Just on this road at this time, got to watch out for kangaroos. Uh, Clubby, when he's up front, if he sees a kangaroo, he Puts his indicator left, then right, then left, then right. And once you see that. But having said that, he did that a minute ago. He just missed two kangaroos and um, I didn't even see those two. So what I try to do at this time of light is just to kind of stay in the middle of the road. Just shave my speed back a little bit. And, um, you know, I've got uh, ABS off, traction control off. So I've got maximum dirt handling um, just in case a little skippy pops out. Day two and we've moved to Blindman and made it our base for a couple of days. Blindman is smack bang in the middle of all those geological folds and from here day rides all over the Flinders ranges are possible. Oh, how good is it eh? How good does it look mate? And you know Nuggets back in Sydney it's pouring with rain. He's probably got rain up to his groin. Yeah. Oh, easily. Be past his, his groin. groin. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, he's pretty, pretty vertically challenged. All right, my friend. This is good. Let's, go. Let's get going. After you. Okay. We're in the Flinders Ranges. And we've just a couple of kilometers out of Blinman heading towards Bratchena Gorge. If you're a South Australian and if you're a New South Welshman, you probably call it Burkina Gorge. The weather is stunning. So I've got 130 k's on the bike now. Engine's starting to loosen up a bit. Uh, but it still needs a few more k's on it yet. Down into Burkina Gorge or turn left into Bunyaroo? We need a corridor through time. We corridor need... through time, straight down Burkina. Yeah. They're all good, mate. <laughs> I think we've got three days to do all of them anyway. Yeah. It's like being at Disneyland with a multi-ride pass, isn't it? It is, it we is. We get to do everything. Have a go at this road and the vista down there. Oh, mate, that's nothing yet, but isn't it? How yeah. good is it, eh? 
Yeah. Well, we have just jagged out. And you think of the weather everywhere else in Australia, mm -hmm. and look at what we've got. Well, it's another hour past now. I reckon Nugget's wearing a snorkel now and a face mask. <laughs> he's, he's well under. He he's must well be well under, under in Narrabeen. <laughs> We're thinking of you, Nugget. So let's have a quick talk about suspension while we wait for Clubby to catch up. Look, the suspension on the Husky Standard is fantastic. But as what I always do when I get a new bike to really enhance that experience is to make sure I have the correct springs for my weight. Now, on this bike, it's going to be used for adventure. So it's going to carry potentially an extra 20 to 25 kilos. And, and the other thing that I'm doing, remember, is putting the uh, long range tank on. So I need heavier springs for that too, just to balance the bike out. But look, it's handling this well, you know. You don't need to do anything to the Husky suspension. Just get the right springs for your weight or your purpose of ride and that's it. Have a go at this. We're in Adventureland. I think it's one of my favourite places for adventure riding, Flinders Ranges. Just so spectacular. Have a look at the geology here. It's just amazing. It's like a highway. I can't believe they can take Winnebago's down here. They've made it so accessible. It's looking so green too, this is the greenest I've seen it. <laughs> it's been a great season. La Nina has done the Flinders good. I've never seen the place look so green. I'll sit down so you can have a better look at the rock formations. <laughs> I really should be standing up though. Have a go at that. Clubby. Oh, it's the best, isn't it, mate? And I like, what, three, four four-wheel drives, and otherwise we've got the whole place to ourselves. I Perfect. That guy in the Winnebago. It's like oh, four-wheel drive Winnebago, yeah. It's like a driveway. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, but bull dust in the creek bed, so it's like, since when? Yeah. Since when? The vast outback plains of Central Australia is all that lays before us as we leave the stunning Bratchener Gorge. But today we're going to turn sharp north for a quick blast up the blacktop and hopefully find a pub for food and a drink. <laughs> I've brought us to Parachilna after having that horrible yeah. drain day. And it, like, it looks like they need a tiler. Uh, how's your arm, David? Oh. for a bit of tiling or what? <laughs> I don't even think it's open, is it? It doesn't look no, open. No, they're not open. The, the, the sign back down the road had closed in duct tape written across the hotel. Oh, no. It's a full remodel by the look of it, eh? Oh. Um, well, we... well, I've just done 30 k's of tar on a straight road. Not the most pleasant thing to do on a husky without some sort of wind protection. And I've got here and uh, the Parachilna and the pub shut. And I tell you what, there's not too many places for a cold drink. Angrachina is about halfway, and that's got something. It's got a store. So we're heading 
back into the Flinders. What we've done is we've gone out of the Flinders, uh, headed west, gone through Burkina Gorge, uh, got on the main road, headed north, and now we're doing a loop back to Blindman. Let's get on the peak so I've got nice vision. And we're looking for Coca-Cola to quench our thirst. Hopefully this little store will be open down here. I love this place. What are there's a dingo. Is that a dingo or a goat? It's a goat. God. There's another goat. And he's gonna be goat stew if he doesn't keep going. Look at that. It's just brilliant. One. Hey, so did we confirm that you're riding 1701 yes. and I'm riding the equivalent of two 701. 701s? Is that right? In in terms of weight. Gross, gross weight figures? Gross weight. Right. Not in cost, but gross weight, in yes. Cost, but in gross weight. Yeah. In gross weight, yeah, they're it's probably, yeah. Um, yeah, it's about 10 kilo. I, I, two of mine is yeah. 280 kilos, yeah, I think. Okay. Well, this is getting there. Yeah, so you're 270. Yeah, far off it, am I? Yeah. So that's why mine sinks to the bottom of all the riverbeds, isn't it? If I drop below second gear and below 70 kilometers. Yeah, whereas I'm just... Whereas you're just dancing away, aren't you? I'm dancing the husky dance. Yeah. We've had our can of Coke. I feel fully satisfied. And we're hitting... The Blinman, which is only 15 k's away. There's Quick Shifter. Not touching the clutch at all there. And just, just good. It just keeps the bike, I don't know, set up and balanced. Now let's have a look at this Husky light. Is there a Husky light? Well. Yes, there is an improvement. There you go. Is it the perfect solution? No. But it'll get you home. It's, it's a broader beam, longer throw. Oh yeah, no, that's all right. Should be able to should be able to spot some kangaroos with that. But I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna go too fast for that very reason. Paradise, here we are in Blinman, just woken up. Tubby's ready to get on his big draft horse. <clears throat> and I'm on my little nimble pony. Another spectacular day of weather and what we're hearing is Sydney is still being deluged by rain. It's a big country. We're heading to Glass Gorge today. Narrow winding road, next 30 k's. Got to be happy with that. Two kilometres from Blinman. It's like a kangaroo highway. Did you see them all coming across the hill, Dave? Yeah. Across the road, and now they're going up over the top. Mate, there's so many roos, isn't there? Yeah. So many. All right, let's get going. Adventureland, part two. Yeah, we just spied a whole lot of kangaroos coming across the road here. I'm not really interested in colliding with one of those. There they come. Here's some, they're gonna cross the road right in front of me. One, two, there's two. Ooh. Yeah, just shaving off the speed at the moment, still a bit early. I'm sitting around 70 to 80 k's. These bits worry me when you just can't. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. oh Jesus. Mate. Did you have that running? Yeah, I nearly had a near hit then. Close to me, and I thought I'll stop and let you go first. 
they just keep coming, don't they? Mate, I, I, I had the video running then, and I nearly, I, I've got one just here. Oh, okay. Oh, mate, there's a bit of swearing going on. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I've had like two mothers and babies. Yeah, mum, mums and babies. Yeah. Mate, you hit one of them with your leg, and you, you just stuff your leg. Yeah, I'm just slowing down to 60, 70 now. <laughs> My God, if Clubby hits one on that, uh, that Super 10, it'll be as dead as a doornail. <laughs> He's got the crash bars on, so that'll protect his legs. I don't have any crash bars or anything, so if a roo hits me in the side, I could very well do my leg in. this mate boys having a fight in the middle of the road's not the best thing hey oh gee they're getting yeah they were going at it mate Ooh. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh can you get that that's it that, yeah side yeah. on like that come on come on guys Shh. pull your voice down clubby they're listening to you so we're going to sort this out oh here we go oh back legs It's a pretty half-hearted fight. It is, eh? No, no. no he's given up. Oh, no, right. he's following him. Something opens up. Wow. It has uh, pieces of really hard shale on it at times. Oh wow. It's like we've got the Flinders Ranges to ourselves. It's during the week. There's no one out here. It's bloody amazing. Walking up this See if I can get up. Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a track. This should be a good lookout. Up we go. What is this place? We're in Adventureland, no doubt about it, Clubby. It's a neat little riverbed we're going along. Imagine this in the wet. <laughs> Probably have a metre of water in it. like a slippery, gravelly, <laughs> sandy sort of thing. <laughs> Great on the husky. <laughs> Ooh. That's the thing about lightness and agility. Like, lightness, agility, power. I think this is the weapon for the Flinders. Yeah, if you want to cruise, like you're on a big SUV, the Super 10's good. If you want to have a bit of fun, 
can't help but think this is the bike for you. Give way. What are we giving way to? Possums? Up here. Just amazing. My god, this is a big beast on bloody six inches of gravel, isn't it? Uh, well, I was just talking about that, just yeah. saying I was in that gravel there and having fun. You're having fun and I'm fuckering up the whole way, mate. You are. And I, I see the last two yes. front dives. Yes, yes, oh, yes. I thought, I hope he's right there. I hope he's there to see that bloody Yeah, I was a bit, I, I just let you get a bit ahead and then uh, hooked into it. And, um, oh, you know, the agility of this. Oh. It's just amazing. That's where it's an odd couple. Isn't but I mean, but this is the thing. I mean, that is like an SUV. You know, you oh, can you absolutely. can do these roads. Yeah, of course. You right. just got to take your time a bit yes, better. Yeah. yeah, for sure. All right. So now we're going to get back out on the on the well, tarred well, road for a while. Tarred, then it was twenty k's up the tar towards Belfarnham, wasn't it? Yeah. So twenty k's on the tar by about the tenth k, I'll be saying I need a tower again. I'll be wishing for a tower. <laughs> you might find one on the side of the road out here. I, I, I could. Apparently, there was a fuel bladder on the side of the road. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, a fuel bladder. Did oh, you? I scored today. <laughs> it's empty, but anyway. Yeah. All right, let's go. There's Clubby in the distance. I'm just keeping out of his dust. Our big brown land. And once you're out of the Flinders, you keep looking straight ahead. It's like that for thousands of kilometres. The Super 10 becomes a mile muncher in these open conditions. I mean, this bike does it well, but straight away, I know I've bored you enough about it, but I, straight away I'm wanting a bikini fairing, something to take the wind off my chest. This is what I love about the Flinders, you know, one minute you're in the hills, and now you're getting a taste, a genuine taste of the outback. This is what it's like. Big, flat, open plains, big blue sky. And then this afternoon, we'll just flip straight back into those mountains for some more fun. Everyone waves out here. No one waves in Sydney. Okay, a couple of things I wanted to talk about about the 2021. Firstly, you can easily get your ABS off. Everyone knows that. That's the standard switch. One, two, three, four, five. But in the 2020 model, I had a lot of trouble with traction control. And uh, that's so much better now. Just uh, one, two, three, four, five and it's on, so that's a lot better. You can do that both those settings on the fly. Now here we go, copy and I, we're back out. This time we're heading to the northern end of the Flinders, where Clubby and I know a great track from Beltana to Copley. We knew it as an open fast track where the Super 10 could sit on 100 k's comfortably. But what we found was something a little rougher. Black sand. I'm just got to watch for washouts. Recent heavy rain had taken out large parts of the track and turned it into a deep gravel riverbed. Easy fare for the Husky, for the Super 10, a little more challenging, but Clubby was up to the task. Whoa! In fact, the change conditions that kept us on our toes was great fun and gave us some very memorable moments. A fast dirt transport section had changed markedly and at the end of the day provided a highlight for the trip. A word of caution, for those on big bikes, the video makes this look easy. This is also due to Clubby's great riding. But if you're not comfortable on a big bike in deep sand, I give this track a miss. And while our eyes were focused down on those big rocks hiding in the sand, just waiting to throw you offline, it was easy to lose perspective of the huge landscape we were immersed in. While it was fun to be had, you just had to take the time to look at this magic place. And then, hook back into it.
Oh, watch it. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, my side was bad. <laughs> Next stage, black sand tracks. Husky territory. Now, I bet you won't even raise a sweat in there, will you? Possibly not. My little sphincter is going to be doing that at every little culvert and creek crossing. You watch. I yeah. bet you. Just doing that, mate. Yeah? The big black SUV. It is. She's a big black Goanna, isn't it? She is. But it does it, mate. It does it all. It does. All that weight's low. That's the best thing about it. Yes. And the power's just talky and drivey and manageable. Yeah. And there's a little nimble over there. Nimble. Oh, that, that's like a little trail bike, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It eats this stuff up. Breakfast. But it's good that you're loving it, aren't you? Like, oh, happy. I'm loving it. Is this your second day on it or third day? Third day on it. Yeah, third yeah. day on it. And yeah. you're still loving it? The love yeah. affair's still real? Love affair's real. Uh -huh. But I do I do have a yearning for the, the 1200. I've ridden them a lot in uh, a number of different rides, over thousands of kilometres, and they're a good bike. And like you say, like, yeah, okay, it's uh, it's got some weight, but the weight is low and centralised. And it's a very... Um, Stable platform in the dirt, actually. It, it, well. it actually it, it doesn't want to shake its head, which is it's no. so good. But you, I find you, you've got to put your weight over the front yeah. and help that with traction and bite. Yeah. But it is. It's for when you look at the spec sheet, you look at the size of it. Yeah. It does it actually quite well, doesn't it, off road? Yeah. The the nineteen inch front wheel's an interesting one. You know, I thought would have thought that mattered, but it doesn't really. And one of the reasons for that is the the forks, the Cuyaba forks on this are just um, brilliant. They're really good. Have you ridden the electric suspension one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's it's a good suspension setup. Now. Yeah, it is. Um, no, it's a it's just an awesome tour, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah great tour. Out here, big days to get here. Once yeah. you're in here, it'll do everything. Yep. And then it's comfortable as a lounge chair to get you home again. But just make sure you break before you go into one of those culverts. Oh, and your and breaking distance is three times mine. But but <laughs> I've, I've got to allow for that because it releases. No, I know the ABS like you do. Yeah. Just when you want it the most, it'll release on the on, the, on that rough gravel. And it will. Yeah. We headed to Copley completely adventurised. And that's what I love about motorcycle adventure. Great surprises like this that turn a good day into cracking memories of a lifetime. We're at Copley up the top end of the Flinders Ranges having had a ball today. How good was that today then? That track, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse, didn't it? Eh? <laughs> it didn't even give up. The last wash away was within 200 metres of the highway. Like, you, you could see the highway and we were still in the crap, weren't we? I couldn't get over it. Like, the last time I rode, that was a couple of years ago. It was like a freeway. Yeah, I've, I've seen the washaways down the far end. Yeah. But all that stuff at this end, never, never like that before, ever. That was amazing. Ah, uh, that was good fun, eh? With bikes and tummies filled, there was simply no way in the world we were going to ride down the tar. So we hooked back onto this track for another feast of great riding. You'd think after a day like that, it couldn't get any better. But on our way back to Blinman, Clubby spied a unique campsite in a stunning creek bed. We switched from speed to explore mode and soaked up the landscape. Yeah, this is the thing with the 701 is it's light and agile and just at the spur of the moment you can do something that you know you might not be able to do or might not contemplate doing on a big bike. Been a bit of camping down here, you can understand why. It's just magnificent. I'm gonna write this down. Save my breath for, for what I've got to say. For the final day's ride in the Flinders, we move camp from Blinman to Hawker in the south. Up the Tard Road for about 20 kilometres and then onto some private land with public access. Another unexpected highlight of the trip was stunning country to ride through on well-prepared dirt roads with one little rocky section to get Clubby's woofer valve moving. Wow, have a look at those mountains. 
gentlemen. It's a long old drive to get to the Flinders Ranges. You know, it's uh, one and a half days for us. And have a look at the view. It's just stunning. Heading home on our final day here in the Flinders. I think Clubby's on the tooth. He wants to get to that dinner, I think. Walking down the position bare feet where everything looks the same. And I don't think I can walk these roads anymore. And now I'm walking down a position bare feet. Huge thanks once again to Australian musician Tom Richardson for allowing us to use his music tracks. Please pay him a visit on Facebook and YouTube and his music is available on iTunes. Nugget and I are only a couple of weeks away from taking Husky 701s from Cairns to Darwin and into the Kimberleys with Woody and Elise from Elwood Motorcycle Adventures. This is a stunning part of Australia and an area where the crocodile and not the human are at the top of the food chain. Most Australians, let alone the rest of the world, rarely get to experience the extreme and remote tropical north, so keep a lookout for our vlogs and ultimately full-length movie of this motorcycle adventure. Coming up in the next couple of weeks is a review of the recently released Honda CRF300 and we take it for our 400 km loop of blacktop twin trail single and some more challenging stuff. We also interview the Indian Dakar racer Ashish Rayorani, an interesting bloke who I've had the pleasure to ride with in the Himalayas. Ashish talks about his country and the amazing places to ride adventure, as well as his recent Dakar racing experiences. Now I've noticed many of our long term subscribers haven't clicked on the notification button that keeps you up to date with what we're doing. So click it now and we'll see you soon.